Well, hello and welcome back. And this is Karen Jean for round two of we need to look at these journals and see what's what and what needs to be put in the shop and what does it need to be put in the shop. Okay, so this one, we'll see how far we can get in Alexa, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Oh, we'll do that. Now, this is the journal, the wallpaper journal. Look at this thing. Whoa. The wallpaper journal that um, sh uh, <laughs> Older Than Dirt, Older Than Dirt gave me the idea for this journal in one of the comments. And I'm, I would love to gift it to you, Older Than Dirt, but you need to send me your mailing address, please. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I'm going to wind up putting it up in the Etsy shop. Uh, what can I say? Uh, so it's two signatures. Now, as you can see, because this is a book, I didn't measure it. This is a little over six, six and a half by nine and a half. So a bit bigger than normal. These papers are should be eight and a half, right? So that's why we're missing that inch from the top, which is perfectly fine. I had so much fun making this book, making this one. I really, really did. Layering up the collage and everything. Um, I, had a lot of, I had a lot of fun making this book. Uh, there we go. So two signatures. Let's take a look and see if it needs any. And I have, remember I have the uh, glitter gel that has is gold with stars and stuff and just threw that all over the place. Uh, and here we have, okay. <laughs> love it. I mean, look, it's an interactive journal. The, this is a big clock. Uh, it could have, it, obviously it's Tim Holtz. Well, maybe not obviously, but it's Tim Holtz. It um, it has a glossy finish, so I think it probably came in one of his ephemera things that I have. Um, but it's also, he has paper like this and stuff. And this here spinner, I have, I bought at my thrift store. They, have, they had a package of these, you know, like we used to, for playing games. So it's like, hello. Uh, pocket here, a couple of simple little journaling cards here. Journaling and here again is it does not lay flat um collage work uh yeah wallpaper wallpaper journal and made a postcard again i had a lot of fun making this uh this is it's the tim holtz i don't know if i have it over here yeah it's this stuff right here it's the it's the heavy waxy it's not really tissue paper. It's heavier than that. And I just put it on top of a piece of that kind of card. So like a cardstock. Okay, so we have that. This also has a lot of stuff from the Barnes Foundation in it. God, I had so much fun making this journal. Uh, look at that. Look at that face. Oh, my gosh. And here she... I love the colors. Make sure you guys are seeing that, right? Um, Paris. And what I have her doing here is looking at the children down there here's another little journaling card tuck spot right in there okay and here he's sitting on the phone because if they're big and they're sitting like this they have to be sitting on something right uh map paris i was having fun with the paris paris theme here uh that this is paris washi tape just some clusters with the pretty, uh, I think they probably consider that by bridal trim at Joanne's. It was on clearance. You know me, I don't pay full price for anything. Um, and the clocks are a theme in this. Clocks all over the place, right? A journaling card here. Clock. And here is a double pocket. This is a simple... Um, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's like an envelope. You just have a big square, you cut it down, you fold the sides in. And so you have a pocket here and then I have a pocket in the back and I put stickers on it. Uh, this paper from the Tim Holtz pack that I think it's from a Tim Holtz pack. I'm looking at the background here. That is 
paper that I have that I glued down. It must have been a plain white background. And here again, a collage journaling card, just like another Paris. It's it's the Paris theme, right? And here is uh, another journaling card. This here flips out. I love this. The, and if let me see if I'm doing this right. Yes, because here is the the painting itself, but like this here pocket is an, an a large version of this section right here of the painting. So and then this here tree is so it's like this section right here of the painting is what this is. And so we have that, and I don't know of which way I had that, but it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful painting. Uh oh and uh I had this one over here and then that just to open it up. And when nothing is sure, everything is possible. Again, more of the collaging, the photos, just a cute little double, kind of like a, it, this is regular paper weight, but it's like a, a folder, right? And we, we did a pocket on the back there. Uh, here, this is uh, indexed to one of my, to my atlas, one of my atlases, signature center, belly Band, collage work there, pocket, journaling card, getting to use these old uh, sapia photos. Here is another one of these, right? The tuck spot, the pocket, journaling card in the back. The reason why this one is, it's, it is a snug fit, but it's also, it's, it's just this, which is uh, Tim Holtz. Um, they, it's not very heavy-duty paper, so that's why there's a bit of a snugness there to that. Paper again, pocket, the same thing. Journaling card, the colors are just really the muted colors. Here we have some of that glitz and glam. Journaling card there. Washi tape. Uh, wallpaper. Pretty, the grunge here. Uh, this is Sabine. That's from that book that I got at Dollar Tree. I wish I could have gotten more of them. The books, it's a series of books, um, like love letters. It's just some. I think maybe Kathy, you know about the book that I'm talking about? Because we've talked about it, I think. Anyway, and here is the bottom half of, where is she? Of her. <laughs> The bottom half, we made her a pocket back there. Clusters and stuff. Look what fun collage. Uh, this paper here, uh, map on one side. Uh, it's double-sided scrapbook paper and handwriting, and I'm sure we could read it. It's written in English. I can't. And then this is one of those stacked envelopes, right? So we have the tuck spot here. Let's see if we can get all these out. It's I don't remember how many pockets we have in this thing. But oh, let's get them all out. Let's get them all out. So there's a pocket back here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. Did I get that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all go down to here because they're just three business reply envelopes folded at different spots. So they all end down here. So 12. You get three business reply envelopes. Chop off the both ends. You have 12 pockets. Let's just, I don't remember where they all were. Um, but of course, as you go down, they get not as deep, right? Not as deep. Uh, and this is a little envelope there and that there. So that's fun. And here we have this beautiful flip with this antique bridal uh, veil, right? And then we have a little extra bridal trim up there. And here we have uh, one of the Tim Holtz people, which she does not necessarily have to be a bride, but she certainly looks like a bride to me. We've got lots of flowers, lots of stuff going on here. Isn't that lovely? And that's this um, end of the first signature. And here we have the second signature. Again, another one of our little tucky uh, envelope pockety things. And here is, and this is uh, taken from that very same book 
that I got at Dollar Tree. And it's an envelope. We have a pocket in the back and then the envelope. And it matches some of that from the Barnes Foundation. That's a bit, scrap bit from the paintings. Here we have a cluster with just a little tuck spot there. A girl riding a bicycle. This bicycle is a bicycle stamp I have. And I stamped it out on heavier... Um, I might have stamped it out on like a manila uh, file folder and then just like uh, distressed it a little bit. So she's riding a bike. Here's a pocket. We can't put some stuff in every pocket. Here's a, just another corner tuck. Clock and birds because of the colors here of this, this beautiful painting. And this flips open. We have a writing spot here. I just put... Um, you know, I have a package of uh, laser laser printer uh, shipping labels to to uh, an eight and a half by eleven sheet. So I just just put it right down there, and then here is just a little flip out journaling spot there. <laughs> uh, pocket, of course, in the back with a little tuck spot down there, right? So those beautiful colors, and then down here it's just. Um, some nice interest with the index for the atlas. Okay, and here we have a belly band. <laughs> Look at him, I love him. Journaling card there. We got, these are our resin flowers, right? Just having some fun there. Paris, Paris. Pocket here. Journaling card there. On a, like a gray, put that on gray card stock. This here, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, we have another one of these beautiful flips. And the colors are perfect for the painting we just saw. Here's a pretty little girl. We have the flowers. We have some, Ed, right? Just lovely, just lovely wallpaper. Signature center with vellum pockets. Now this is like a file folder where they're open here on the, on the sides because it's vellum. And vellum is pretty sturdy, but it can also tear. So these are pockets that don't have anything in them. And there's this all this collaging work going on here, right? How, how fun is that? Uh, big, uh, this is not glassine. This is a piece of vellum, an 8.5 by 11 piece of vellum that I made into an envelope here. with, um, And I have that there. You could tuck that in there. Let's see if I can tuck that back in there with a pocket in the back, of course. Uh, Eiffel Tower, yay. Uh, more just interest there. Uh, corner tuck with a just a little, <laughs> little tag, journaling, little journaling card. And then here in the back, we have this, our lady there for our, you know, our envelope pocket. Here we have, took me a bit to figure this one out because this was a big 12 by 12 piece of paper from the Tim Holtz pack. Uh, so here we have a, a side pocket over here and this here, it says memoranda on it. Obviously there's the pocket behind it. And then you um, have journaling spot in there. So, and again, just interest with the index, with the index. Uh, some writing spots down here. And in the back here, we have another lovely collage. He's sitting on a Victrola <laughs> musical, right? Music sheet with the birds. And uh, there's just another little painting sticker there. And then this is the back cover. Now you see we have this piece of twill tape here. Of course, more collaging. I collage a lot in this book, and let me tell you, I had a lot of fun. And then we have this gusseted pocket back here on the back cover uh, with collage work. This one I have not yet branded with the Ex Libris logo. Not a problem. We can take care of that. But this is the <sighs> wallpaper journal. It doesn't have any pullout, so it, that's just, I mean, that's just, that's just it. Although it's very bulky, but it's, it's not very bumpy. So you can do a lot of writing. I don't know about if I'm going to be doing a writing board for this or not. I'm not sure it needs it. Okay, now this one is 
uh, the second recipe journal that I made, the first recipe journal that I made, I made for Becky at Acre Homestead. And uh, she she was so nice. She sent me a uh, little thank you note. It was just it was just lovely because I have I do make these and I do send them to people that I feel I've been directed to send them to people that I don't know, you know, people that I watch on YouTube or whatever, but people that I feel that I've been directed to send them to. And I did make this one and I did, I, again, I made this and I reached out to, um, a woman that I follow. Um, oh gosh, what is her name on YouTube? She's not a, um, She's a farm girl, something farm girl. Uh, but she lives like in a very urban area in Maryland outside of Washington, D.C. And I just love her. I just, I just, I just love her. And I can't think of her name. But I did reach out to her. I sent her an email because she did have her email listed on her channel. Three signatures. Saying that, you know, I made this and I would love to gift it to you because she does cooking and, and, and stuff. Becoming a Farm Girl. That's the YouTube channel. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. Becoming a Farm Girl. Um, but I haven't, you know, and maybe she thought I was, uh, I put the links and everything, but maybe she thought I was a crazy, which, you know, hello, I am, right? <laughs> anyway, so we have three signatures on this. This is Grocery Sack Paper again. This is from the Saturday Evening Post uh, cookbook that I have had. It's all been torn up now. Sunflowers, homemade with love, blue ribbon. So let's see. I just, I did have, I do love, well, being someone who loves to cook, I really love this journal as well. But it's going to wind up going in the um, Etsy shop because it, it, and that's perfectly fine. So this is our, our recipe journal. We have this journaling card, which has, as you can see, the sh uh, sugar sack, right? Uh, cut that down, made that into a journaling card. And this is just the gingham on the back. I love this fabric here. This fabric, which you really can't see here, we Sandy's journal. I used, I because I was looking for fabric that had sheep on it when I was making Sandy's journal. So that's what that's left over from but I mean look at how fun this is it's like an old farm journal old farm recipe I love it anyway and then um I would get from my uh oil company my old oil company now I have a new oil company every year they would send these uh calendars like this recipe calendars that have little pockets in them and it's so it's perfect right so here we go so there's our our home cooking guide right introduction to what this journal is all about uh this is from the pepperidge farm no that's from norman rockwell oh i have an and i have another cookbook norman rockwell i don't know if it's a cookbook or if it's just norman rockwell stuff uh it might be a cookbook so anyway so there's that lovely grandma and granddaughter having tea right and then this is the back of that for a hot, nourishing meal. We have a journaling card here, a uh, little tuck spot. And this is one of those paper tab paper clips that are so fun to make and so easy. And yeah, just messing around. Again, this is um, instant coffee. Or this could be ground espresso. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Um, and so then we have some recipes in here, right? as pages in the journal more or less you know well this is the full recipe this one is yeah this one's a full recipe too but doily coffee here we go sunflowers and this is uh the flower the flower sack with a um one two three four it's a four stacked vellum pocket, which I'm trying to be delicate with because it's vellum and a can tear. And so this is a journaling card with just a little pocket on the front with a little tag in it. Look at that. So we're going to put that in the back one. And then this is just a recipe card. We'll stick that there. And then this is a cute little, just little um, pocket thing there with some uh, from the wildflower book herbs. Here we have. Uh, another recipe, more recipes. Yeah. 
our big Indian corn side pocket with this very large journaling card that has a belly band on it. How much fun is that? I have this little stamp here. Do you remember? Seeds, and I uh, stamped it out on just fabric, and then I cut them out. How much fun is that? Stash. I love this tea journaling card. And then on the other side here, why is there... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was going to say, why is it sewn down there? It's sewn down there because it's a few recipes. And then you can journal behind it as well. So what fun is that? Signature Center is taken from one of my Dollar Tree calendars. You know, I had to cut it down a little bit, mounted it onto a piece of uh, craft cardstock. And then in the middle here, we have mm, an envelope, I think. I'm not quite sure what I did with this. This looks like an envelope. We cut it open, right? Decorated it. We have a couple pockets here. IGA, uh, journaling card, rolling pin, rise and shine. Uh, and here, the butter, <laughs> of course, another journaling card. You know, you're going to throw it away. You're going to stick it in the trash or the recycling. Go ahead and make a pocket out of it for your journal. Our clusters here, see, and I used them on clusters, are the craft card stock. Uh, this is from, well, a lot of this stuff that you're seeing here is from, well, not that one, but the other ones, uh, like here, are all from the same paper pack. And then uh, just a little bit of... Uh, twine there, rosin flower, and then again the little <coughs> stamped flower pot. Uh, creamed salt codfish, no thank you, but some people might. This is the back of the flower sack, I believe. Yeah, all those carbs. Uh, and then there we have that. This got dyed, this did not, but coffee bean washi tape. Stirring it's another cluster, celery soup, Onion soup, zucchini soup, what fun. Now, here we have on this page, let's see what we did here. This is a flip out. This is what we did. So this is just, again, and here's a side, little side tuck here. This is grocery sack. Um, this with a pocket, a flip out pocket, which has a large journaling card here. Talks about how to cook grilled lobster up. Again, with the IGA, which is a supermarket. I don't know if it's still in existence. Um, and then again here, same thing, pocket flip out. Because uh, this is the back page of Grandma and Granddaughter having tea. But it, I needed to uh, extend it because it wasn't a full page. And so, and then this is again, just one of our tabbed paper clips. Fun, fun. This is the back of that. See, it's a calendar. It's a pocket. And it's a recipe. What fun. Look at this. Norman Rockwell. <laughs> uh, desserts. What do we have here? Apple cake. Uh, Rocky Road brownies. This is, I think, from the sugar sack. Pocket there with the cupcakes. Put some glossy accents on those. Uh, macaroni and cheese. Cheese souffle. Cheddar cheese pie. More recipes, more pages here. Flower sack, donuts. Who doesn't love donuts? Uh, another recipe, no-bake lemon and coconut pie. Yes, please. <laughs> Getting hungry. And here we have a double pocket, right? Journaling card, recipe card, journaling card. And this is, is this flower sack? Um, this is... Uh, eight and a half by 11 uh, craft card stock glued onto the calendar again. And this is just me with the, with the coffee cup. I don't drink coffee, but making those coffee stains. So here is this signature center. And this is another, a different type of vellum stacked pocket, right? Whoa. So it's one, two, three, four. And we have this large journaling card there what fun is that it's very pretty and that one was back here i know you were back there <laughs> here is we ha oh here we have the guest check again with the coffee cup stains because that's fun and uh 
yeah, just another little journaling card there. Yeah, maybe I had it down here. Uh, signature center. Here is a pocket journaling card, right? Sunflower. Flip up recipes. Here we have pockets and tabbed paper clips. Here is, <laughs> I think I remember making this on this. This is the back of the flower sack. We have here a large side pocket with a journaling card with a pocket and a tag in the pocket. And then up here, what we have is three separate window envelopes that have been cut down and decorated, right? And have journaling cards in them. So here is from, you know, the lemonade mix. And it goes all the way over there, but I put it there because that's where the window is. Another guest check. Here is another, and these are all glued down tabs. Journaling card here again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this one, and this has this journaling card, right? And as you can see, I did absolutely nothing. I mean, I, I collaged and stuff on the envelopes, but they're white with the blue. Do they all have blue on the inside? They all have blue on the inside. Yeah, they're all from the same. <clears throat> I was going to say they're all from the same company, but I think they were my mother's <laughs> for her business to send out um, payments and stuff like that. And pie crust recipe. There we go. And here's more recipes. A little cherry washi tape. More recipes. A lot of these recipes are fish. I don't know why. Do not ask me. I do not know. Um, and here is, again, because of the other Norman Rockwell photo, we had to extend the page. So we have a small little side pocket there. Uh, large double flip out pocket here at a grocery sack with journaling cards. Here's grandma peeling apples and the boy shine in the boots. Everybody has a job to do. Apple cobbler. Yum. I don't have any apples in the house, so that's probably a good thing. Steak roll ups, ribs. Here we go again. Tea box. Tab paper clip. Uh, apple fritters, pocket, salads and salad dressings, rules and stuff. There we go. More journaling space. Here's another uh, flip over with the grocery sack. It has a journaling card in it uh, with, of course, <laughs> a tag and a spot on pocket on the back, right? Fun probably going too fast. Here we have a side tuck with a recipe card. And again, in the center of this, this is the index from, from the cookbook. And it's just a couple of pockets here, right? Farm fresh, farm fresh hens, eggs, whatever. Another vellum pocket, recipe card there, envelope pocket, more recipes, more writing space to write your own recipes, to comment on those recipes. Uh, what is this? Asian barbecue pork loin. Tabbed paper clip pocket. Marinated veal scallops amandine. There we go. Lamb curry. And there we are at the back with our pocket and a recipe card and a journaling card. And this one also has to be branded with the Ex Libris logo. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, I'm going to tie this back up. Hold on. Let me move these paper clips a little bit. And this is um, Grow Grain Ribbon. There. And it comes with this right here which is made out of craft envelopes, right? And this is the easiest thing to do. It's just pockets here, right, with the journaling space. And these are covered because they have, that's where the envelope is sealed, right? And so there we have journaling space. There's a big recipe card in that one, a pocket back here, more journaling space. Each one of these is a pocket with a pocket, more journaling space, pocket, recipe card there. 
And as you can see, these recipe cards are big because there's the recipe card and it opens up there. And a pocket here and a pocket there. And this one gets tied up front. And what's nice about something like this is you can use it for your coupons. If you cut coupons, things like that. I know everything's digital now. You can stuff it, you stuff it, put anything you want in it. But so there is the recipe journal. Woo! Okay, so this still needs, I think both of these still need to get the Ex Libris logo put on them. Uh, not an issue, but both of these were supposed to be gifts for people. They've been sitting here too long without me hearing back from them, so they will be going in the Etsy shop. And I will um, let you guys know when everything is uploaded in the Etsy shop. So, uh, I'm calling that these two journals are done as well. It's always nice to review them. We'll get them in the Etsy shop. We have the wallpaper journal and the recipe journal. Okay, well, thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.